Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share another Vadiyalu recipe. I just want to show a couple of Vadiyalu recipe because we all go to the store and we get the ready-made uh, Vadiyalu and we try to fry it in our house. But making Vadiyalu is very, very simple, you know, it won't take much time. Only one to two days you need to just dry it in the sun, then you will get an excellent Vadiyalu. So this is only to inspire you to make fresh, fresh, you know, Vadiyalu at home. So let's start how to make Pesara Vadiyalu. And we are going to add some green chilli, ginger and some cumin seeds. Like how we grind for our uh, Pesara Dosalu, same way we need to grind it, but not like our dosa batter. It should be slightly thick because we are going to put it like Vadiyalu. So here I have the dal which I soaked it for 4 to 5 hours and remove all the water. We don't want any moisture. It should be slightly you know thick batter like our vada batter. Add it. If you want you can add some vegetables to this also or uh, you know green leafy vegetables you can add. But today I am just showing you the basic version. So we are going to add some dal into this. And these kind of Vadiyalu you can make it any time dear friends. The temperature is 35 to 40 in every season. So you can just make such type of simple, simple vadiyalu in any season and you can enjoy fresh. So here we are going to add some green chilies and also some cumin seeds and a piece of ginger and also we are going to add salt. Our vadiyalu we want nice, you know, slightly salt. We don't want to add too much salt. And this, I'm going to grind it into slightly thick batter. So friends, here is our batter. Don't add any moisture. Otherwise, this will become like our, you know, dosa batter. We don't want any moisture. Just drain out all the moisture. You can see this is slightly thick, not loose like dosa batter. It should be like this. And if it is slightly thick also, no problem. And when you add your dal to the mixi jar, try to remove all the moisture. Then only you will get it perfect. Otherwise, it will be like our dosa batter. Now you can just transfer this into a bowl. And now what you can do is you can just check the taste. We want this to be slightly salt because this will be dry and then we are going to fry them as vadiyalu. So it should be slightly salty so that we can enjoy with rice. And now just take a nice clean wrap or any polythene paper. You can just spread it on a tabletop wherever you get the sun or in the balcony. You can put it and then take the mixture and just like this. Simply just put small dumplings. See, you will get nice excellent flavor from this garlic, ginger, very near near also you can put it. If you want little bit flat also, you can slightly press it and this will become slightly flat. We can make the rest of them and then this goes two days you can just put it under sun and then you can remove this from this and if you want you can put for another one day in the sun and then put it in an airtight container and whenever you want to fry them just remove from the airtight container put it in oil and you will get an excellent pesara vadiyalu. I am going to show it to you how this turns out after one to two days. So friends here is our pesara vadiyalu. After two days, you can see they are totally dried. Just make it into small, small dumplings also, no problem. After drying it, these will be, you know, out of shape. So any shape, you can just put these. And you can see these are fried and these are dried. After frying, you can see the color has been changed. Initially, it was yellow in color and they have changed the color. But the taste wise is awesome, dear friends. I make these regularly in my house i suggest you also make it into small small quantities and feed your family fresh i hope you enjoyed this simple session if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh food see you in another session with some more recipes